I hope you and family are keeping safe and healthy. Thank you for visiting Amazing Animals. Can you please subscribe? The sperm whale or cachalot is the largest of the toothed whales and the largest toothed predator. It is one of three extant species in the sperm whale family, along with the pygmy sperm whale and dwarf sperm whale. The sperm whale is a pelagic mammal with a worldwide range and will migrate seasonally for feeding and breeding. Females and young males live together in groups, while mature males or bulls live solitary lives outside of the mating season. The females cooperate to protect and nurse their young. Females give birth every 4 to 20 years, and care for the calves for more than a decade. A mature sperm whale has few natural predators, although calves and weakened adults are sometimes killed by pods of killer whales. Mature males average 16 meters in length, with the head representing up to one-third of the animal's length. Plunging to 2,250 meters, it is the third deepest diving mammal, exceeded only by the southern elephant seal and Cuvier's beaked whale. The sperm whale uses echolocation and vocalization underwater. It has the largest brain on Earth, more than five times heavier than a human's. Sperm whales can live 70 years or more. Spermaceti, from which the whale derives its name, was a prime target of the whaling industry, and was sought after for use in oil lamps, lubricants, and candles. Ambergris, a solid waxy waste product sometimes present in its digestive system, is still highly valued as a fixative in perfumes, among other uses. Beachcombers look out for ambergris as flotsam. Sperm whaling was a major industry in the 19th century, depicted in the novel Moby Dick. The species is protected by the International Whaling Commission Moratorium, and is listed as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Sperm whales usually dive which can last more than an hour. They feed on several species, notably the giant squid, but also the colossal squid, octopuses, and fish such as dimersal rays, but their diet is mainly medium-sized squid. Some prey may be taken accidentally while eating other items. Most of what is known about deep-sea squid has been learned from specimens in captured sperm whale stomachs. Battles between sperm whales and giant squid or colossal squid have never been observed by humans, however, white scars are believed to be caused by the large squid. Females become fertile at around 9 years of age. Gestation requires 14 to 16 months, producing a single calf. Birth is a social event, as the mother and calf need others to protect them from predators. The other adults may jostle and bite the newborn in its first hours. Lactation proceeds for 19 to 42 months, but calves, rarely, may suckle up to 13 years. Like that of other whales, the sperm whale's milk has a higher fat content than that of terrestrial mammals. This gives it a consistency similar to cottage cheese, which prevents it from dissolving in the water before the calf can eat it. Calves may be allowed to suckle from females other than their mothers. Males become sexually mature at 18 years. Upon reaching sexual maturity, males move to higher latitudes, where the water is colder and feeding is more productive. Females remain at lower latitudes. Males reach their full size at about age 50. Great job! Hope you liked this video, and I will look forward to see you soon. Till then, take care and keep smiling.